How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is going to be me talking about how I feel about NHL 24, alright? So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. I played it, I have played the game uh, and I'm going to also go over some other things. So basically what you can expect in this video is me going over the gameplay and also talking about the total control uh, skills, uh, controller setup right now in the game, right? So make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're not already and let's hop into the video. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna talk about basically what I've experienced so far in NHL 24. So for me, the gameplay feels drastically different. That's one thing I have to say right away. I think the gameplay is a huge difference from NHL 23 to NHL 24. Things that I've noticed especially are the goaltenders. So I feel like they have, again, so many new animations and I've seen a lot of crazy ones and some ridiculous things. Sometimes they end up on their back, and it's, it's a little bit weird, and I don't really know what's going on uh, sometimes with them. That's the only thing. The goalie fatigue thing, I hope it's not too broken where they're just always flailing and it's always on their back because it's going to be frustrating to, to see that, and especially in offline. I feel like maybe in, in online it wouldn't be as bad. I feel like, again, you have more control over the goaltending when you're obviously controlling him, but the problem is in AI and offline, I did find that shooting rebounds would kind of make them very vulnerable and, and fall on their back and kind of just let in a lot of soft goals. So hopefully that does get changed and potentially tuned, but we'll see. I'm not, I'm not panicking 100% with that yet either. I mean, it, it's, we'll see how it works, but I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like the, the goaltending is definitely different. The gameplay is definitely different in general. Uh, LT or I guess L3 if you're on a, a PlayStation or L2, sorry, L2 if you're on a PlayStation. Uh, I feel like it's certainly a lot different as well. So basically, you can't really LT or L3, L2 as much anymore. Uh, basically, if you skate straight and you press a button, your guy does not like like do that isn't spin that's not really how it works anymore so the people that get mad about the people oh spamming lt and that's not real hockey well you're getting your wish because it's not going to really be uh, a very effective way to to play the game i mean it just it just is not i mean it's it's certainly not going to be at all so it's uh it's certainly going to be interesting to see how the gameplay meta is this year because it should be a lot different just logically thinking uh I, I also, also, I gotta say, the hitting is just so fun. Hitting is absolutely so, so fun this year. Laying out the huge uh, hip checks are really, really fun to lay out. I love laying out the hip checks. I mean, they're just one of the most fun ways to hit now in game. And I, I really just can't wait to to get the everyone to get their hands on it. I mean, I can't wait until the, the beta, the tech test comes out because it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's really gonna be a lot of fun. I think hitting is such a big part of hockey and I think we all can admit that seeing a huge hit and seeing someone just get crushed along the ice I mean it's one of the most satisfying things in the in really hockey to see and especially in a video game you want to see that being represented I mean it's a video game you want to see funny things uh the broken glass the that's funny stuff hitting under the bench I mean that, that's just funny stuff I'm glad they added that back into the game I really really do I think it's very important to do that because it, it really should be something that's a very important thing that they consider right that's just how I feel at least um, then also talking about uh, some of like the sustained pressure stuff, right? So basically how it works is this, guys. So the goalie fatigue system works like this, the exhaust engine. So goalie fatigue uh, can increase or recover as play, go play goes on. And every missed opportunity on defense makes it that much harder to count on a save. So basically ways where they can get tired, all right, like they get the defensive like zone like player is tired, shots on goal, time in the zone, and passes across the crease, okay? So that starts making people get scrambled around, fatigue starts setting, settling in, and ways to actually kind of make your, so if, say you're hemmed in yourself and you're obviously, the pressure's on, the best way to get rid of that is you have to clear the puck, a face off, a timeout, or just a play stoppage. So uh, just, uh, it, it's really, going to be something that is going to be huge and different this year, I would say. I mean, I hope it's not, again, too broken. I do worry about it. I really do. Uh, but we'll see if this year uh, they actually just decide to make it different, I mean, and, and, and see how different it actually translates. But I, I from what I've played, uh, it does feel like it is uh, it is a different different game. It really is. You can say NHL 23 and NHL 24 are the same game because they're just certainly not at all. So uh, hopefully you guys uh, definitely like it as well. Uh, again, Monday it'll be, the tech test will be coming out, but that's some of the uh, goalie fatigue system, all right? And then also the sustained pressure, basically there's a, a meter, right? So there's a meter in there uh, and, and it, it can build up 
through puck possession, hits, and shots within the offensive zone. And the offensive team gets a positive adrenaline effect, increasing passing speed and accuracy for up to 30 seconds, okay? So defensive team gets a challenging pinned effect, which impacts their skating and forces them into tactically finding ways of defending the net. And they can counter the moment by clearing the puck for five continuous seconds. So that's how some of that works as well. Uh, but to me, again, the gameplay this year is going to be absolute, absolutely different. Uh, the physics-based contact as well, uh, just checking in general, there's ways to, to really just make hitting so much more fun. Uh, and, and it's not like, th there's basically two different ways to like hit, right? Like there's there's a, like a huge hit, like a, a regular just, you know, kind of like move them off the puck. That's one way. And, uh, and it's kind of like a way to avoid getting like charging penalties and major boarding penalties, right? Which is, I think, really awesome. And then last but not least, I want to talk about the new total control, okay? So the total control, uh, for some of the buttons, I can reveal what some of the buttons do. So for total control, uh, basically you can still pass with the right trigger. The saucer pass is still the right bumper uh, it, it, and it'll still be very similar. So uh, basically LLB is still going to be like a, a deke, like, like it's still like the simple LB deke uh, and skating the same way. Protecting the puck though you have to do uh l3 plus r or the plus the right stick basically so it's definitely interesting it's definitely an interesting way to do it uh and and really line changing is using the d-pad as well so the four check uh you can change the strategies as well with the other d-pad defensive the defensive line uh is going to be left d-pad and the right right d-pad is the offensive line change and then basically doing the new deeks guys so not new deeks but the deeks on the new control system is lacrosse is y between the light between the legs is b backhand toe drag is x and one hand tuck is the a button so that's very interesting very interesting to see how this is all going to play out uh, i hope you guys are excited for it but that's basically how some of the new total control systems are going to work you'll get your hands on it on monday so yeah i want everyone to let me know what you guys think about all this new control stuff and that's really all for me now i mean i can't wait to you know give my thoughts and feedback about the beta as well once it starts on monday all right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of the video and make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's. And again, let me know what you guys' current thoughts of NHL 24 are on some of the features and some of the new gameplay that we've seen so far. I'll see you guys in the next video.